Hi, welcome to the Fit and Healthy Today Show. Today our topic matter that we're going to discuss are cancer treatments. And I want to point out, I've made a statement uh, at the very front of this, that the cancer treatments that I'm going to be reviewing today are going to be those that have been researched in conjunction with or by themselves, but can safely be taken with chemotherapy, radiation, or surgery. So if you do have an oncologist that questions any of the supplements or dietary recommendations, these are all backed by research, university research, uh, that supports their usage during cancer uh, therapy. Um, I'd first like to review the diet um, when you have cancer or you're fighting cancer or you have pre-cancer or even actually a preventative diet for as much as that goes. Sugar feeds cancer. It robs the body of oxygen. So when you eat foods that are highly processed, that raise your glucose or your blood sugars, it feeds or robs the body of oxygen, which in turn feeds cancer. So if you have at any type of cancer or pre-cancer, you need to avoid sugar, alcohol, and all starchy carbohydrates. I'm not saying all carbohydrates, but particularly those ones that really, really uh, increase and convert readily into sugar. Um, recommendation is to eat clean live food that is organically grown pesticide, herbicide, and growth hormone free. We know that growth hormone given to people causes cancer tumors to grow crazy. So here we got growth hormone in our chickens and our beef milk, name it. Um, Uh-oh, it's going to obviously contribute or to the growth of cancer tumors as well. So get organically grown fruits and vegetables, organic meats that aren't full of growth hormones. Also, too, especially with estrogen-driven cancers, uh, pesticides are estrogen mimickers that feed cancer. So eating clean, live foods that are pesticide, chemical-free, best way to go if you've got cancer, actually best way to go no matter what you have or don't have. Um, eating foods that are high in glutathione. Glutathione is the strongest antioxidant known to man produced in the liver in combination with vitamin C. Vitamin C helps induce that uh, glutathione output. But there are certain foods that we can eat, and there are supplements that you can take as well. We'll discuss further on to increase glutathione. But the foods that increase glutathione, this strong liver antioxidant, that will help you detox during your chemo or during your radiation and help you fight off the cancer are going to be such things as asparagus, avocados, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, uh, gag, I'm not a Brussels sprouts fan. Cabbage and walnuts, those are all things that tend to increase glutathione uh, in the liver. Eat as many raw fruits and vegetables, I do know how to spell fruits, sorry about that, uh, as possible, especially those that have a deep, rich, lots of color. So lots of greens, purples, oranges, um, uh, yellows, all of those types of, of rich colors have a very strong antioxidant ability naturally to help you fight off the cancer and survive the chemo and radiation. Um, part of the reason why I'm doing the show on this subject today is I've had two female friends, uh, actually two, they were my friends, but they were also my relatives, die not of the cancer they were being treated for, but of the chemotherapy. And so anything that we can do to help people survive chemotherapy if they choose that option, I'm all for it. So that's why I, I find this subject really, really particularly personal and important to discuss. Um, so when you eat raw vegetables and fruits and vegetable juicing, they have, they're very rich in enzymes, rich in antioxidants. They also alkali the blood. And when you alkali the blood, your body's, remember how I told you how cancer loves an oxygen-deprived acid environment? Well, cancer doesn't like an oxygen-rich alkali environment. So we're going to make it an unfriendly place for the cancer to spread or even develop. So eating those raw fruits and vegetables, once again organic, or juicing, if you've got a good juicer, is very beneficial to help also, too, the liver detox from chemotherapy and radiation. Eating lean protein, particularly plant protein or egg protein or whey protein, uh, eggs, tofu, poultry, fish. We're going to avoid beef and pork. 
they're very, very acidic um, for the body. And so these are leaner pieces or types of meat, particularly a chicken breast, uh, when you're talking about chicken. You don't want a lot of saturated or um, uh, a lot of fats. You don't want the bad, what we call bad fats, the saturated fats or the polyunsaturated. Those are just going to contribute to the growth of cancer because they oxidize in the body. So plant sources of fats like walnuts and almonds and pecans and things like that don't oxidize as readily like meat fats do. So sticking with the lean uh, cuts of meat or go, uh, lean cuts of meat or the plant sources of protein is the best way. Remember, protein also helps you keep your energy levels up. If you're undergoing chemo and you're just not able to digest a lot of this or you just don't have an appetite, there are whey protein and egg protein shakes that you can do that will help keep your energy levels up and help you to be able to survive the chemo. Eating garlic, onions, and legumes to keep your liver functioning at optimum levels. And you're thinking, garlic and onions? Well, they're very rich in certain antioxidants, particularly quercetin, which we'll talk about supplement-wise, which is a very, very strong an um, antioxidant for prostate, uh, liver, and lung cancers. So these are all rich in that particular form, and they are also help prevent secondary infections as well. I want to review very specifically with you today the supplements that are backed by clinical research uh, that can be taken during the surgery, chemo, or radiation. Uh, they can also be taken if you choose not to do that as well as having anti-cancer effects. But like I said, most of the research that I dove into included uh, those people who chose, those, chose the options of doing the standard uh, allopathic medicine. This is, and I know you kind of look at this, this is a kind of mushroom uh, that has been very, very researched. Um, it's got kind of a weird kind of shape. If you, if you see the name, you can punch it online and see what it looks like. But a lot of studies, uh, the University of Shanghai did a 650 patient research, uh, and what they found was this particular type of mushroom reduced chemo side effects, primarily in esophageal, lung, stomach, and colon cancer. In addition, it also helps with cancer survivor, survival as well, but to reduce those side effects, once again, to help the ability to survive it, very well researched. Mataki. Most of the research that's been done on mataki has been out of Japan. It's a mushroom, and we hear a lot about mataki, shiitake, and all the different types of mushrooms. Well, mataki, and they have, uh, I have wrote, written the dosage down based upon the studies that they did. Um, what they found was most effective for breast, prostate, liver, and lung cancers. It showed cancer regression. Now, these are very good percentages. Significant symptom improvement and a 66% in 66% of the people with breast cancer, 58% of people with liver cancer, and 62% of people with lung cancer for both ability to not have so many side effects with the chemo as well as being able to live and survive the cancer. So, and there's a lot more research than what I've written down here on Mataki. Uh, Prolytic en enzymes, very anti-cancer, they help Mm. All, of, all of the bodily functions that we, cellular functions that we have go on, require enzymes, okay? And in order to be able to repair the body and recover from chemo, radiation, and surgery, these enzymes aid digestion, especially they'll break down food when you're undergoing chemo, um, chemo which can be like battery acid to the digestive tract. The digestive enzymes can help break down that food to increase absorbability and then give you enzyme activity so your body can repair. Uh, L-glutamine. This is an absolute must if you're going to do chemotherapy. I can't tell you the countless number of people